Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode 4 of the Spain travel series. If you have been following along then you'll know that I am travelling around the country with some new friends but I am literally having the best time. So we're in Alicante for this video and I also wanted to talk about drinking, going out and stuff like that so I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you do and we will dive straight into the vlog. So our Spain adventure started in Barcelona and then we went to Valencia, so from Valencia we had to get a train to our new destination which was Alicante. Welcome to Alicante, we have literally just arrived from Valencia and I literally just went to the loo in this um, fancy station, the toilets, oh my gosh, bougie, great first impressions, I was doing my business to bird sound, that was a great toilet experience. So if you didn't know, I met Charlie and Daniel when I was travelling before this around Germany and then I met Ellie on the plane to Barcelona and then Jess in Barcelona itself, but as a group we all bonded so quickly and it's just been so fun to travel with friends as opposed to solo. Oh my god, it's bright, it's hot as well, we have the full squad ellie moi well that's french but me charlie to the left jess to the right and daniel in front hello everybody we're trying to find a taxi to get to our airbnb we've literally just arrived here at the station it seems more like a holiday place so we're hostels and we've got an airbnb So the taxi to our Airbnb was not very long at all, but our driver was basically giving us a private sightseeing tour. He was telling us all the best spots to look out for and for me to film for you guys. So that was just perfect, you know, for the vlog. And I will just give you guys a quick overview of our Airbnb that we booked. Oh, I'm in the middle of a road. I still have sand in my ears from yesterday when we were in Valencia on the beach, like, for such a long time until like early hours in the morning. Oh, I've lost my friends. We have just been like in the Airbnb because it's so hot. Like one of you guys actually sent me a message saying don't go out between like 12 and 6 p.m. in Spain right now because it's just so hot. Um, and that's basically what we've been doing every day, waiting, well not waiting, but we leave at like 12 and then we stay out when it's just like super hot. Oh, there are my friends. Hello. Hi. I was just introducing Alicante. Hello, Alicante. 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 I don't really know. To be honest with you, I don't think I've ever heard of Alicante yeah, before today. No. <laughs> so we're going on a little wander now because it's not as hot, to be honest with you. There's nice a bit more of a breeze. Yeah, it is quite nice. Oh, well, are you ready to chuck water over me? I'm not bothered, Charlie. If I said pour it down me, would you do it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One rule. If I get wet, it's fine. If the camera gets wet, it's not fine. <laughs> Charlie, you're looking so tough. You know when you go underwater and you like, <laughs> Look at the water. You're going to get from the water. You dropped me in my nose. <laughs> you know I have two bottles in here. Oh. Two bottles. Two bottles. Oh. Two oh. bottles. Oh. I know exactly <laughs> what Ellie got. So a water fight in a hot country is not a bad idea, but I just need to say that I cannot aim to save my life. <laughs> no, yeah. I yeah, we didn't think about saving the water for our hike that we were going to do later. But anyway, we then saw this climbing thing, which we decided to race to the top of. Well, I was climbing it and then Charlie wanted to join me. I reckon I can race her up there. Yeah, I'm good at climbing. Three, two, one, go! I'm not gonna lie, I can be quite a competitive person and I really did want to win. But the fear of putting my foot in the wrong place and then falling or giving myself a major wedgie just like definitely held me back. So um, yeah, I, I didn't win and I was apparently really slow even though I'd done it before and Charlie hadn't. Like I was really kind of frustrated about that. Well done, Charlie! Well done! Three, two, one! Yeah, I was so not done with losing, so we obviously raced back down, and I did think I was gonna lose this as well, but you know, we picked up a bit of speed, and we basically made it to the bottom first. Who wins that? <laughs> Which one was more impressive? I, I, I don't know. Going down was definitely more impressive. <laughs> Charlie wins again. 
now I know this is probably meant for younger children, but honestly, this is your reminder to find somewhere to release your inner child because you will have the best time and it'll put you in such a good mood. We're going up to the castle up there, so we've got this big trek ahead. Oh shoot, there's a car. Yeah, right, at the, oh, more cars. Up here is where we're going hopefully see a sunset we're not sure if we're gonna get a good sunset but we're gonna track this anyway and i'm losing my friends how long oh, do you think this is gonna take five minutes five minutes Twelve. 12 minutes apparently look at this dog hello you're so cute i feel like there were people like right in that window that i couldn't see because it was dark just staring at me filming their dog but their dog was cute um i think these are cicadas we can hear i'm not sure if they're called like crickets here but the things that you can here in the trees and everything. They have them in Thailand and Australia. <gasps> oh my god! Look how cute it is! Can I like, take you home please? You're actually adorable. So we actually haven't found many cats in Spain that are really friendly and you guys know how much I love cats. But anyway, we were climbing to the top of the Santa Barbara castle in Alicante. <laughs> quite a tiring and intense trek especially in the heat but it is so worth it and I highly recommend if you are in Alicante and you want some really good views over the city especially for sunset and yeah later that evening we stopped by a supermarket to get some food so we could just cook dinner in our Airbnb. Why is there a freaking dryer in this kitchen? <laughs> ah! Dang! Oh, Dang. Oh, Dang. Oh, Dang. No, all the veg just fell into the sink. Right. Let's see if we can drain this rice without spilling. Can you help this lid, please, while I'm doing this? Push hard, push hard, push hard. So I really don't like food waste, but I also know that sinks are not the cleanest. However, I did try and save as much of the veg as possible. I did make a bit more just so that I could have enough to put together a meal. But yeah, it was an ideal not having a drainer and it was just so difficult to basically drain everything. and spicy things and not my thing will never be my thing but anyway we all sat in the living area of our airbnb we had the tv on we were just chilling chatting and eating our food before we went to bed in a very very hot airbnb we didn't have aircon and we only had two fans between all of us on a scale of one to ten how hot is this airbnb wow yeah <laughs> look at her jess is drenched what an intro who's blowing Stop! I appreciate the water, but like, no. No, I've already been splashed today. Hey, we're trying to go to bed um, now. Yeah, it's so hot. Like, the sweat is dripping down my back, and it's gonna be a sweaty night. We have two fans between five. I went on my first run the next morning in Alicante. I ran along the beach and then I decided to go up halfway to the castle. Ellie's leaving today. Ellie's leaving and Ellie doesn't want to go. I know, nobody wants Ellie to leave, but um, we're gonna do something today. Go out and get some food. Ellie's leaving dinner. Any last words for the vlog? You'll be on the vlog before you leave. I will leave. be on the vlog, but um, I've had an absolute pleasure it's taking awesome. over the camera. Mm my lifelong dream that I didn't realise that's come true. I know, next so, minute Ellie's going to have her own show. I will, it's on the plane. Yeah. I yeah. am going to stop making new shoes. Exactly! <laughs> oh, I should show you what I'm wearing today. Because I, I have new shorts. Yeah. So, these are the new shorts I got. Where do we get them? I got uh, them in Pullen Bear actually. I don't normally buy from like high street shops and stuff, but I've never found denim shorts that fit me better. Trigger warning, oh, if you don't like, like it's got some worse. If you don't like squeamish stuff, don't look at this next one. It's so good. <laughs> right, so we oh, have Oh, it's so good. <laughs> uh, how did it happen? We don't Paris. We don't know, in but in Paris something Paris. happened. Paris, and Tower, yeah. scooters. Mm. So We're quite concerned. It's British called Gert. Station. 
Okay, so as I said, we all went out and had like a final meal, the five of us all together before Ellie had to leave to get a plane home to the UK. And this was my first time actually trying proper Spanish paella or paella. I really don't know how to say it, but it was basically a vegetable paella. This is my first time trying paella. Paella. And now we're just gonna move on to our conversation about drinking and alcohol. If you guys know me, then I have been pretty much teetotal in the past. I have tried alcohol, but I'm not really a big fan of the taste especially with really strong drinks but my main fear though with drinking alcohol is that I'm scared to not be in control of my body so that is why I just haven't really had any especially when I was at uni for example however you will have noticed in my travel vlogs that I have been trying bits of alcohol now and again and especially when I'm with other people and I feel comfortable with other people then I will try drinks zoom in, zoom in, Daniel. I'm on the way Tell someone's never poured a drink in their yeah, life. Yeah, no, I never poured a drink in my life. So yeah, in the middle of us making sangria from scratch, Ellie did have to leave, which was so, so sad because we bonded so well and I'd literally only met Ellie like a week ago. I'm gonna miss you so much, oh my god. Oh my god. Keep oh, me updated yeah, on everything. Daily I updates, need, need daily updates. Oh my god, she's off. She's leaving us. Bye! This is so sad, I hate goodbyes. Bye! Oh my god. Five becomes four. So sad, look at my burn. Oh my god, that's bad. Homemade juice. No, the whole thing is homemade sangria. And homemade sangria. Oh, the whole thing is homemade Part one, part two. Mm. Yeah. Part one, part two. Of the sangria. Yeah, we were making this from scratch, this sangria. I am by no means an expert on anything to do with alcohol, but I know we added lots of fruit. So we had orange and then pineapple. Red wine went in there, orange juice, I think, in a fizzy drink. But for the full recipe, you're probably best asking Charlie or Dad. I just had the fruit. Me too. Yeah, but he hasn't yes. sat in the sun in weeks. Now, as the fruit lover that I am, I was loving all of the fruit in the sangria that we made and the drink itself, it was actually quite nice. You know, it was fruity, it was juicy. I enjoyed drinking some of it, but I feel like the red wine definitely made me feel a bit dopey and sleepy. You know, the reason why I am trying some alcoholic beverages, we can say, is just because I'm open to new experiences and I'm with friends who I trust. They're amazing people to be around and going out in the evenings is actually super fun. So this was in a club in Alicante, it was like a pub slash bar and I did try some of the drinks there, they were honestly huge and yeah we had the best time. This was actually the first time I've tried a shot of something. I believe this humongous drink was a mojito and I always say this but as a reminder you do not have to drink to have a good time and you should never feel pressure to drink alcohol. I am making all of these decisions myself and you know as I said I'm just open to new experiences. <laughs> <laughs> Hello vlog. <laughs> it was an eventful night, we can see you guys, and yeah, we're gonna jump to the next morning. So Saturday, Charlie and I actually made fancy overnight oats, so we decided to add different layers of like banana, peanut butter, oats, banana on top, and then a good old drizzle on the very top. Oh. <laughs> At least we tried. We tried. Look at these. What have we made? Overnight oats, but not overnight. We're gonna put them in the fridge. Oh, they smell so good. Smells like peanut butter. Technically, overnight oats should be made overnight, but you can leave them for about one to two hours in the fridge and they will thicken up. And yeah, I was so impressed with how these looked. I mean, we both were. They also tasted so, so incredibly good. And yeah, they were thoroughly enjoyed, especially after our big night out the day before. Where are we up to next? Who knows? Yeah. Where are we going? Secret. Secret. We're going to a ski resort. I feel like I haven't spoken to you guys in a bit of time, just like one on one. Um, but basically, I'm just putting sun cream on. It's like saturday i think i'm in my yellow bikini we're going to the beach we haven't done much today because we woke up quite whoa that's a lot of sun cream we went out yesterday we went out to this no it wasn't a club i was gonna say club it was like this pub thing oh my god how much sun cream do i want to put on? 
Okay, that's way too much sun cream, Molly. Anyway, and um, we went to this pub thing. I can't remember the name. Wait, it was called Paradara? Paradara or something. It's running like a very cheap bar and pub. And it was good. We were there till like, well, we got back at 5 a.m. I think. I am literally so white right now. Like, look at this sun cream. I actually think I'm getting a tan. Um, yeah, this is factor 50 today that we are slapping on. I didn't bring a special face sun cream, but I don't really mind that much. Oh no, 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 no. We're gonna be looking so white. What? is that it's literally all just gonna sweat off this is not a good idea i can't even take myself seriously right now so i'm gonna like finish this and i'll speak to you guys later Blech. i actually don't mind sun cream but some days i really hate it and today i'm actually hating it yeah i really think i should look into getting a face specific sun cream because this one was so so thick and it just took ages to sink in it was also all over my bikini but yeah we went to the beach in alicante it was very chilled we went in the sea and then after that we wanted to go back up to the castle for sunset again just because the views were so good and yeah i mean i was attacked by the waves um in the sea of course we're climbing back up the hill i did it the other day half when i was running but we came up the road today we're hopefully we're gonna see the full sunset today because we came up earlier. We can't talk. <laughs> we can't talk. We can't talk. Come on, Daniel Hawking 23. <laughs> how are we doing? Come on. Don't show my back. No, you can't see the sweat. You can't see the sweat. Daniel, are you ready to hold on? Yes. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. I'm holding on. Oh my god. Hold on. I'm trying. I'm trying. Is it easier? Is it making it easier? Uh, a little bit. Okay. Okay. Because we're out of the sun. <laughs> oh. Watch me fall flat on my face. <laughs> Okay, we're doing our shopping trip. Travel shop. We have our cute little trolley. This shop is in the shopping center in Alicante. We came here yesterday. They have really cool stuff. Well, it's huge. This is the shopping center. Yep, there's our trolley. How would you say that? Hura? Yeah, Hura. It's a brand, you have it in the UK, but it's like a Spanish meat alternative brand. So this is the home country of if you have tried this brand definitely let me know down below because i really want to find it when i'm back in the uk but we were just buying food and snacks for the next day because we were going to be traveling to our next destination and honestly i am so excited to show you guys this next place because you just won't believe it's spain but yeah on sunday it was obviously our travel day so we had to pack in the morning check out the airbnb do some organization clean the whole place the usual and yeah that is basically where i'm gonna bring this video to a close I really hope you've enjoyed following our time in Alicante. Obviously, it was so sad to say goodbye to Ellie, but I really hope it was interesting listening to my thoughts on alcohol and drinking. If you have any specific questions, you can always leave those down below or send me a message on my Instagram. And when I get home in the UK, I'll be doing a big summary of this whole Spain trip, answering your questions. But for now, I'm gonna love you and leave you. Definitely like this video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below, subscribe if you are new and hit the bell so you know when I upload. And as always, I'll speak to you very soon in another video. Hi guys. Oh, there's an announcement. Damn it. Also, I look quite tanned. Yeah, mine's burnt. Yeah, well, I, I think I look quite burnt. tanned. Ellie's no, burnt. you do. You're so burnt. Yeah. And what are you? Burnt like a crisp. You're like that straight. Holly, is it basement? As always, I'll speak to you very soon. Hashtag Charlie and Dan. Okay. <laughs> I haven't officially given you guys an Airbnb. An Air I can't speak. I haven't officially done an Airbnb tour. <laughs> don't fall, don't fall. Move your arm, move your arm, move your arm. Move your arm. You're pulling my shorts out. Um, we're getting lost, remember? No, we're um, spontaneously losing ourselves. It's yeah, fine. exactly. It's fine. Exactly. Play what? Cut on her. Oh, yeah, we'll have to play some good tunes. Cut on her. You don't know the song Castle on the Hill? I'm thinking of the musical. Um, um, oh, oh yeah, oh, okay. I'm not very good with the song names. Clearly. I can recognize a tune okay. when I hear a tune. tune. A tune. tune. Weirdo. I am a weirdo, I know. Not afraid to admit it. 
There's something wrong with me, did you say? Same. Oh, Ugh. No, I look vile. My eyes look good though. Right. Mm. This should be in the bin. Somebody aimed and missed. My asshole's out. Don't touch the floor. Ah. There's a massive swan in the way. And one sec. This bed is in the way. I feel like I'm exposing myself a bit too much now. I need to <laughs> actually put this sun cream on. No one is in focus at the moment. Right, somebody better let me in though. Sweating just a little bit. Hey! <laughs> that was smooth. <laughs> My ass is out. <laughs> uh, why don't you orange peel? <laughs> That's it. Oh! I think I've got your face on point. What's wrong? There's two naked children in the camera. <laughs>